Well, good day, my brethren. Sailor is in His Majesty the King's service. As good Christian sailors in the Royal Navy, we are expected to conduct our affairs righteously, for the ship belongs to the king. This ship is his representative in the American colonies. And as such, we are to honor the king, faithfully serve him, and perform our duties in an orderly and disciplined manner. These colonies are in rebellion against the king. And we are here to see that order is restored. The king is most certainly not pleased at the conduct and open rebellion that has taken hold in this land. And as his representatives, we will fulfill our duty. Right now, the king sits on his throne in England, robed in his finest clothes, fitting his God-given position. And we submit to his authority. Oh, my brethren, lest we forget all souls, including the king, ultimately submit to the will and the desires of our Lord, our God, who sits on the heavenly glorious throne. For the psalmist writes, the Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He has put on his strength as his belt. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. Oh, my brethren, good sailors, this is our great and glorious God that we worship, we honor, and we glorify. He alone reigns supreme, and he is a God of discipline and order. Those who rebel against him will surely fail and suffer great consequence. But Jesus says, Whoever is not with me is against me. Whoever does not gather with me scatters. Therefore, I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Those who are not for God are against him. My brethren, there is no in-between. The only way to be for God is to know God, the Father, that comes through his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the only way to come to the one true God. All sin can be forgiven, except blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. And why is that, you may ask? Because the Spirit testifies about Jesus, that he is God's Son, God's Redeemer of man for the forgiveness of sin. Jesus went to the cross to take our sin penalty, which is death. He paid it in full, so we don't have to. If you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you reject the one the Spirit reveals and testifies to, that is Jesus. If you blaspheme the Spirit, it means you reject Jesus to whom the Spirit reveals. That sin cannot be forgiven because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but by Jesus, God's Son. Well, a man of the sea and His Majesty's Royal Navy as those who are certainly aware of the power of the sea and the ability to bless or curse the voyage of a sailing ship. The scriptures speak about the one true God, who is far stronger and mightier than the great waves of the sea. For it says, the floods have lifted up. O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring, mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your decrees are very trustworthy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. Oh, my brother, our great God is trustworthy. All his promises are true. He will never leave his people nor forsake them. There is nowhere on this earth or anywhere we can sail where his arm is too short to save us. James writes, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, 
who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. But let him ask in faith, in faith, with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. That person must not suppose he will receive anything from the Lord. He is double-minded, unstable in all his ways. My brethren, good sailors of his majesty's service, trust in God to see us through. Have faith in him and do not doubt. Serve him and you serve the king in England. And just as the people in this colony are in rebellion against his majesty, many people, many people are in great rebellion against our great God. Do not be rebellious, man of the sea, for just as the sea itself, or just as the sea itself, and destroy a ship in one fell swoop, so our great God, mightier than the waves of the sea, can destroy a rebellious soul. The sea can take a, soul, a sailor's life, but even so, the scriptures remind us this is not the end. For we find in the book of Revelation, the Apostle John writing, And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books according to what they had done. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them. And they were judged, each one of them, according to what they had done. And death and Hades were thrown at the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown in the lake of fire. Sailors, although we all die once, not all will die twice. Do not die twice, my brethren, for if you've been forgiven of your trespasses against God through Jesus Christ the Son, your name will be written in the book of life. For those souls, there is not a second death, but rather eternal life. Eternal life, my brethren. Well, honor the king, my brethren. Fulfill your duty as sailors in his royal navy. But glorify, magnify, and fear our great God with awe and wonders. For he is worthy to be praised. Amen.